Okay everyone, so this will be the fifth part of this painting tutorial um, about painting landscapes. So I think I, I might need more um, parts on finishing this tutorial because I want it to, to go to do it um, slowly so that you can understand more on how I on the process that I using when I paint um, landscapes or a complex landscape like this one so so really so if you wanna see the list of materials like the oil the, the acrylic paints and the brushes you may refer to the first part of the video which is the the starting of this uh, tutorial which is the part one and you can see there the the materials that I use in this tutorial like the brushes okay Okay, so in this part of the tutorial, I'm going to focus on painting the water reflections here. So I'm not sure yet um, what I uh, will add on this, um, on the river, but for now, I'm just, um, um, just, I'll just focus on the, on adding the reflections. Maybe I'll just put some houses there or whatever comes to my mind. Okay, so let's start now and here. I have the materials on the right side, on the left side. So I'll be using first the number eight flat brush, long handled, and some white paints here. There. And I'm going to put maybe I'll just use a smaller one, a smaller brush yes so i just use this one to add some more um blue color so i'm use the blue and the white just use the blue and the white mix it together and make it and let's create a light blue and here we need to we need to make this part um, solid can do it horizontally or vertically there there And I think I'm gonna use a darker purple, so I'm gonna use the red and again the blue. Because I'm gonna make this part um, a little purple. Because of the sunlight. Yes, or I mean, I'm sorry, because of the shades or the shadows of this part here. There, I love that. So, we're gonna fill this part, this color, everything. Then we're gonna make this part here a little darker. So we're gonna use some more blue. And I think red to make some purples. I'm gonna add some white. Now that's too dark. I need to add more white. There. There. And I'm going to add more blue. 
another white So we need to make this part on a darker bluish color. Okay. And this is all because of the reflection on the sky. You can then actually use a bigger brush if you want to make it uh, faster. If you, it feels hard, just dip the tip of the brush into the water to make it wet. Can need some more blue and white, and I think more red to make it purple. There, and I'm going to add some greenish color there on this part, the bottom. So I'm gonna add some yellow and blue and red more blue it's um, somewhere like a um, blue green in color and it's gonna put it here So just a short strokes to create some short waves or small waves on this part of the river. There. Just a little. Okay, now let's start adding some water reflections. Okay, so but first I'm gonna use the number seven flat brush here because I'm gonna put some white here or a little pur or a lighter purple color. So here I'm gonna use the blue, get some red or purple. with lots of white and set some white there So let's just put some plain light color here. Okay. There. And let's start adding some water reflections. 
so I'll be using this color here which is the which is a little blue green with some white with some yellow I'm sorry and blue again and I'm adding some white and let's make some reflections so just paint uh, downward strokes there But that's not all. We need to put some yellowish or brownish color also. And some white. Okay, I love it. Now it's gonna put also here. But I'll be using bigger brush, so it is the number eight flat brush. This part here. And I'll be using some so I still be using this blue color and some blue umber and white and I'm, and yellow there. So it still um, look like green color. It's actually a brownish green color. So this that should uh, because of this color here, which is brown, we need to make um, we need to put some brownish green here to create the reflection of this river bank or the cliff here. On the river bank. So first step, we need to fill this part with this color. So again, I'm gonna mix the raw umber with some blue and yellow. More yellow and raw umber. Then white to make it lighter we can create uh, some downward um, strokes something like this and just do it slow, so um, softly and slowly there Okay, so you can now see that it looks like a rotor reflection. And of course here.
Okay, that looks great. It looks realistic for me. Even though it's not yet finished. Finish. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, here. I'm gonna add also a little reflection on the riverbank on the other side. Okay, and I think I'm gonna I'll be using the I need to use the smaller brush is the number seven pot brush and I'm, I'll be adding more details the blue or umber yellow and blue more details here with the start part okay and I think I'm gonna add more yellow a red and yellow okay so that I can put more here Okay, and we should not forget the reflection of the of the coconut tree. So maybe in the future, still on the other part or the next parts, I still need to put some more. Um, trees here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna if I can do it. So I'll be using now here some more blue. Oh no, I mean this color, which is the brownish green. And it's gonna put the reflection of this um, of this coconut tree. So we need to measure the the size of the coconut tree. So here, this will be the size, and I'm gonna put here. So you need to create a distance between between the land from the water to the to the base of the of the coconut trunk. So here. And I'm using the brownish color of the green so that um, it will become brownish like like the color of the coconut tree, tree trunk. And we need to create some wave like this one there. That's it. So you need to create the, some waves. And also the the leaves. It should be regular also. Okay, I think that looks um, realistic now. Okay, we can make it darker if you want, but maybe I'll just do it later for, um, when I retouch the, the painting. Or maybe now I can do it. So I want more blue and yellow and green. Okay. 
Okay. Now I'll be using the more white and mix it on the existing lighter purple here. I'm going to add a little water. So here I'm going to put some white lines on this part of the river. Make sure it's straight. There. Okay, I think that looks it looks more realistic. Okay, so I'll be mixing more blue. And let's create some white lines here between the the reflection and the base of the of the of the land or rock there do not overdo it always remember that there and also here just a little not too visible, okay? There. Okay, so let's clean the brush. Okay, I'll be using the raw umber and some white. And let's paint some reflections. So here it's a light brown color. So we're gonna put some reflection in the water. Also, it's a, it should be um, vertical strokes. I'm gonna add more white. And also here, just do not overdo it. There. Yes, that looks realistic. Looks nice. Just follow what you see on the top of your of the land or this cliff. Whatever you see, just put it on the just put it here on the reflection. Reflection is just like a mirror what you see it will reflect always on the on the on the bottom but not exactly the same because there are some disturbance on the water that's why uh, it has some waves or whatever refractions of light something like that
Okay. Yes, I think that looks nice and looks realistic. So next I'll be using more blue and white. Because I'm gonna need to put a little waves here. It's the color the color of the of the of the light blue should be the, the same as here because we're gonna put some waves there to create some water disturbance or refractions so just short horizontal strokes there Okay, so I'm gonna add more white. And let's also put here. I think here. So I'm gonna make it darker and also here. And here, of course. Okay. So that looks realistic for me. Okay. So maybe in my final part here, I'm going to put some houses on this um, distant part. Okay, so I think I'm gonna put some small houses and I'll be using the same brush or maybe smaller than that. Oh, 
I'll just use this zero liner brush and I'll be using the raw umber and some white and yellow and red So I think I'm gonna put a house here. I'll just make it a little bigger. Touch it. And also some more houses. on the distant okay so how is here oh, it's so small that's why we can't um, almost see it I think I'm gonna add one beaker. So I'm gonna put the other one. So I think I'm gonna put it here. And I'll be mix, mixing for darker colors. That's too dark. I'm gonna use a pure white And I'm gonna add uh, some darker tones. So 
actually I am using the brown color with some blue Okay, that is called the Nipa hut or the Nipa house, and it's usually common in the Philippines. So hopefully everyone can understand what I am painting. We can put any type of house there or barns or whatever you can like. It's still up to you guys. It's it's your painting now. You can put churches or whatever churches. I'm gonna put some um, sh casted shadow. Okay, so I'm not sure guys if I am done with this part, so maybe I'll just paint the, uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to add. If you want to see it clearly, so I think I'm going to move on top. So you're gonna see clearly some small houses. So I'm still planning to add some bananas here on this on this part here. And I'm not sure I'm gonna add maybe I'm going to put some animals here on this part. Carabaos, horses. Yeah, just I'm just thinking of that. And okay, so maybe I'm going to put um, some people here. Yeah. Okay, I think we're gonna try. I still have lots of time, so I'll be using the raw amber. And I'm going to add to the lighter color so that it will become lighter. And here, I think I'm going to put I'm not sure. And it's, I think I'm going to use the red and the white. To paint the dress or
and some white I'll be using some more red. I'm gonna put it here. He's wearing a red shirt. I'm just gonna put some casted shadow here. Yeah. Okay. We need some blue pants. Okay. Yeah, I think that's that is a that is a farmer. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it looks nice and it really looks like very far from us okay everyone so I think I am done with my with my fifth part of this painting tutorial and I will be adding more details later but I'm gonna do first so this part here the grasses the, the rocks if I'm gonna put some rocks here so that I can finish the entire painting and I'm gonna put the details in the next part I'm gonna put some banana tree here or whatever you're gonna put so whatever whatever um, plants that I'm gonna put so yes that will be my plan and I hope you will be, will be with me and, and I hope also that you get something out of this tutorial and you can learn you can learn and you can paint from your own so that you can you can be uh, you can be better it's a every day okay so i want to say thank you thank you again for watching this video please hit like and some comments subscribe for more videos in the future and my advice is to keep on practicing keep on painting the more you do the more you know to wash your brush the more you know how to mix the colors that's why i'm using limited colors in the body because i want you to learn to mix and get the desired colors you want okay everyone thank you have a nice day and god bless you all all the glory and honor all is freedom to the lord